All right, in this video, we discuss, discuss section 10-8 on geometric probability. We'll discuss um, briefly what probability is um, and spend most of our time talking about geometric probability, meaning probability dealing with lengths and areas. Okay, um, in general, probability is, is on the idea of the number of favorable outcomes out of the number of possible outcomes. I'm sure you've heard this before in previous math classes. Okay? For example, questions you probably have seen before and done before is what is the probability that you'll roll a 4 on a dice? Well, how many 4s are there on a dice? There's one 4 on a dice. Okay? Out of how many sides are on the dice, there are 6. So the probability of rolling a 4 is 1 sixth. Okay? Number 2. What is the probability that you will roll an even number on a dice? Well, how many even numbers are there on a dice? Well, there are three out of six, okay? Or simplified to be one half, okay? Number three, what is the probability that you won't roll a one on a dice? Well, not rolling a one is rolling a two, three, four, five, or six. So there are five possibilities for that out of six total possibilities, and we have five sixths. Okay, now this lesson's more on geometric probability, meaning probabilities of lengths and areas. So um, pause this if you want to time to copy down this, but to copy this down in your notes. But if point S is on AD chosen at random, the probability that S is on BC, BC is this red part, um, is the ratio of the length of BC to the length of AD. Okay, again, this reminds me of, of possible, sorry, favorable out of possible. Again, BC is our favorable, and AD is the possible. Okay, so it's the length of BC out of the length of AD. Okay, a few examples. Number one, if point K is on ST chosen at random, what is the probability that K lies on QR? Now, QR is this part right here. And we'll find the length of QR divided by the length of ST. Okay, now the length of QR um, is the number of intervals. So it's um, 1, 2, 3. Okay, or more simply, 8 minus 5 is 3. Okay, divided by ST. Now, the length of ST is 14 minus 2, or 12. Okay? So 3 twelfths simplifies to be 1 fourth. And so the probability of um, point K being on QR is 1 fourth. Okay? Please pause the video and try number 2 on your own. Okay. Um, if point H is on ST, selected at random, what is the probability that H lies on SR? Well, SR out of um, ST. SR has a length of 8 minus 2. SR right here. 8 minus 2 is 6 out of ST, which is 14 minus 2, which is 12, and I get 1 half. Okay, if a train comes every seven minutes, what is the probability that you will need to wait less than four minutes? Okay, it's a, a question that, that may come up in the real world. If you can think of it as a length, so waiting zero minutes or waiting seven minutes, waiting less than four minutes, so here's four, and I'm waiting less than four minutes. The length of this segment is four, okay, out of the possible weight, which is out of seven, okay? So the probability that you'll need to wait more, I'm sorry, less than four minutes is four sevenths. Okay, the next topic is probability and area. Again, pause this if you want to take time to write this down in your notes. Uh, but point S is in a region R, chosen at random. The probability that S is in region N is the ratio of the area of region N to the ratio of region R. Again, this reminds me of possible outcomes. I'm sorry. Favorable outcomes out of possible outcomes. Okay? It's in region N out of the total region R. Okay, here's an example. 
A beanbag target like this one is used at a fair. If the beanbag hits a random location in the white rectangle, what is the probability that it will be in the blue square? Okay, okay. so um, I will do favorable. So it's hitting the blue square. Okay, out of hitting the, the white rectangle. Okay, favorable out of total. Now, the area of the blue square is 5 times 5, or 25 inches squared. Okay, the area of the right rectangle is um, base times height, 20 inches times 10 inches is 200 square inches. Okay, 25 divided by 200 is 0.125. Again, there's no units. It's 0.125 or 12.5%. Or if you want to leave it as a fraction, it's 1 eighth. Okay, um, another question. A circle is inscribed in a square, meaning a circle is placed perfectly inside a square. Point Q um, is in the square, is chosen at random. What is the probability that Q lies in the shaded region? Okay, well, we're going to find the shaded region divided by the total area, meaning the square. Okay, now the shaded region is going to be the area of the square. Okay, minus the area of the circle. So if I subtract the area of the circle, what I'm left with is that um, is these pieces in the corner. So it's the square minus the circle, and that'll give me the shaded area. Now the square um, has it's six by six or thirty-six centimeters squared. The circle is pi times the radius squared. Now be careful, the radius is not 6. Um, the radius is going to be half of 6 or 3 centimeters. Okay, so it's 36 centimeters squared minus 9 pi, but as a decimal, 36 minus 9 pi is 7.73 um, centimeters squared. Okay, now the total area is going to be our square or 36 centimeters squared. So the fraction becomes 7.73 centimeters squared over 36 centimeters squared. And so I get a probability of 0.21. Again, there's no units. Okay, in this video, we talked about probability, but specifically geometric probability, meaning probability is dealing with lengths and areas, and I hope by now you're able to find geometric probabilities that involve lengths and areas.